Hello and welcome to the online music teacher. My name is Simon Powers and in this course we're going to be looking at taking your skills and information and creating an online course that can generate revenue for you for years to come, serve countless people around the world and be available at all times of the day. We're going to take the skills you already have. You've got communication skills, you've got performance skills, you've got expertise on your instrument, uh, and you've also probably got experience teaching already, whether it be online with um, Zoom or Skype lessons, or perhaps teaching in a classroom setting or one-to-one. -one. All of that is a huge asset to creating an online course that not many people have. What you're likely missing is understanding how best to form a course, what to teach, how to create it, and then of course the technology behind that, how should we house it on the internet, how do we film, lighting, sound, uh, and how much should it cost? Or, you know, all of these questions are things that I've learned over the last 10 years of doing this myself. Normally, I will sit down with uh, musicians who pass through New York City and sit down and have a cup of coffee. This is usually how I've helped people over the years who want to have some pointers, some ideas about how to move forward. But now it's, it's time that I put all of my, my own lessons that I've learned in this process in this course so I can give you the best chance of being successful as quickly as possible because I think it's a, a really needed asset right now for musicians around the world. I started out as a classical guitarist, well actually way back when I started out on electric guitar when I was a, a young kid and then I got into classical music, I went and did an undergraduate degree and uh, went on to do my masters and doctorate at Yale University. Then I moved down to New York City and as I was working as a musician, as a performer and a gigging musician, I started creating online materials. The first things were PDF booklets, little exercises, and a few videos here and there. YouTube was just starting to get really popular. And I learned so many things in those first years about creating things that are actually helpful for people. That's the real key in terms of content. You might be thinking right now, you know, oh, I could do a course on this technique or this piece. But unless you're making a good connection between the people in your audience or the audience you will build and having a course that solves a problem that they're experiencing, then all of your efforts might actually go to waste because it doesn't match the audience and the solution. They don't actually have that problem that you're solving, so it's a mismatch. I've experienced that myself and learned so much along the way about understanding what problems exist with an audience, how to find that out, and then making sure we focus in uh, on a clear way to solve those problems for people. Really what a business is, if we boil it down, is it's something that solves a problem. So uh, if you solve the problem well, and you are clear about your proposition, the audience is there, and you are able to communicate with that audience, it all works. And that's what we're gonna be talking about. We could talk about some strategy and setting up and some planning. And then we'll get into the nitty gritty of how to host it on the internet, what technology to use, how to film, sound, etc. All of those things that probably you might need some help with in addition to all those skills that you already have. So I'm excited to share my lessons and my experiences with you and guide you as you build your first online music course.